The drug uh, Plaquenil under investigation as a possible treatment for COVID-19 has attracted more controversy for Michiganders. Governor Whitmer facing some criticism for cracking down on any inappropriate prescribing of that medication. Dr. Frank Majors joins us now for a fact check. Frank. As a physician, I received the same notice that went out from the Bureau of Licensing last week. It was a reminder about responsible prescribing of the medication hydroxychloroquine. And it specifically warned against hoarding or stockpiling in particular because this would create shortages for those who have certain autoimmune problems and need the drug. This letter did not prevent appropriate use, although some people seem to have interpreted it that way. Doctors and hospitals treating patients with severe COVID-19 are not dismissing the possibility that hydroxychloroquine might be beneficial, and most are using it on COVID-19 positive patients, especially the more severe. Now, this is because the potential benefit, which remains completely unknown right now, outweighs the harm, especially in severe cases. Now, that risk-benefit judgment is not the same if people begin trying it on a large scale for prevention or treatment of minor cases. At this point in time, because the benefit is unknown and there is a small but measurable risk of dangerous side effects, it should not be broadly used. Carefully controlled clinical trials are underway to evaluate potential benefit, but until they are done, it should be reserved for people with diseases where it has proven benefit and cases where there is no harm in trying. Back to you. All right, Frank, uh, Sandoz is the manufacturer of Plaquenil. They've donated 30 million doses of the drug to the, national strate uh, the strategic national stockpile, but that's just as a possible treatment for COVID-19 patients. As Dr. McGeorge says, nothing firm on it yet. There